In this video, we're going to talk about the top five pieces of advice for a first time natural bodybuilding competitor. And when I talk about natural bodybuilder, I'm just talking about a blanket statement. It's just a natural athlete. So whether you're competing in physique, bikini, bodybuilding, whatever, classic physique, any category, whatever category you're competing in, this is the top five pieces of advice for a natural athlete, a first time natural athlete. This is also a great video, even if you've competed before. It's not just for the first time athlete, it's for everyone, but I really made this specifically for a first time athlete, but everyone could take good advice from this. The first piece of advice is plan early and plan ahead. Give yourself plenty of time to prepare. Typically speaking, a contest prep takes anywhere from 12 to 16 weeks to get ready for a show. But that all depends on what your starting point is, where you're coming from, what experience you have, what your goals are in competing. But typically it's 12 to 16 weeks. You want to plan your training, plan your nutrition, and, plan, and practice your posing well in advance because you don't want to be stressed out as the show gets closer. The second piece of advice is focus on nutrition. Nutrition is key, okay? So if, you, if, you're not, if you're not quite sure what kind of nutrition to follow or what kind of meal plans to follow, you might want to consider consulting someone who has experience in competition prep or nutritionist, or obviously like we all do, we go to the net, right? But make sure you get good information. Okay, you need to understand your macros, macronutri macronutrients, and water intake, all that kind of stuff is very important to your contest prep. So understand macros, understand putting together a meal plan. So nutrition is key. So if you need more advice on that, or, or you're not quite familiar with nutrition, seek some um, expertise, okay? Because nutrition is key. My third piece of advice is master posing. There's no excuses. You only have one element of competition you have to perform on the day of the show, and that's posing. And you put in all this work with nutrition, training, all that, you want to make sure you present your physique the absolute best you can on stage. So practice your posing, master your posing, that's all you need to know on the day of the show. So there's no excuses, so make sure you put in your effort and practice your posing. Because obviously when you practice your posing, you're going to get confident and confidence looks great on stage, okay? It comes across amazing. Piece of advice number four, seek feedback and support, okay? So if you're not quite sure what you're doing or what you're getting yourself into or your posing or your nutrition, all that kind of stuff, seek um, advice from people who've competed before. Maybe some judges, coaches, like I said, fellow competitors. So seek advice. Advice is priceless, right? That will help you. It'll, whatever, it'll take the trial and error out of it. It's your first time competing, right? So it'll take your trial and error out of everything. So seek advice from people who have knowledge in the area where you're getting into, okay? So if it's posing in bikini, Say you're having a problem with posing in bikini, seek advice from someone who's an expert in posing in bikini. Your nutrition or something like that, seek someone who has experience with competitors getting ready for shows. So yeah, so seek advice and support. And fall back on support of your friends and family. It's gonna be tough. It's not easy getting ready for a contest, okay? Contest prep is gonna be tough. So lean on your support systems. Your friends and family can be great um, source of uh, encouragement when you're going through these tough times. So lean on your support system if, you, if you're lucky enough to have it. And if you don't, there's a community out there of other athletes in the IDF area competing or, or any other show you're doing. There's many athletes out there in the World Wide Web, okay? So seek their support and encouragement when getting ready for these shows. And this is the final piece of advice, but it's the one that I cannot stress the most, okay? Every competitor is going to agree with me on this if they've competed in a show before. They're going to agree with me 100% on this. 
Piece of advice number five. Enjoy the journey and document the process, okay? Every competitor, if they didn't do it, regrets doing it. You only compete in a show for the first time once, okay? So document everything, take pictures, take videos. It's gonna be something you're gonna wanna look back on with fondness, right? You're gonna wanna look back on and say, remember that time when I competed for the very first time? There's nothing worse than because, I know, because conscious prep can be stressful, okay? So when you're stressed out and everything, you, you're like, last thing you want to do is take pictures, take videos and all that kind of stuff. Or on competition day, you're not taking pictures backstage. You're not too worried about taking pictures on the stage. You're just not documenting because you're too focused on the day-to-day -day contest prep. And it's stressful. Of course, it's very stressful, especially when it gets closer. So make an effort to document the process, okay? Take pictures, take video, even if you don't want to. Even if you don't even look at it right now, just take videos, take pictures, and just file them away. Because one day you're gonna wanna look back on the experience, you're gonna wanna, re I don't know, relive it or cherish it or, 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 or share it with people, because you only do it once. A first time experience only happens once. So I can't stress enough, document the process document the journey, enjoy the process, enjoy the journey, take photos, take video. They will be invaluable down the road, okay? So that's that. Okay, so thanks for checking out the video. If you're a first time competitor, good luck on your first natural competition and enjoy the journey, enjoy the process and shine on stage, okay? So make sure you practice that posing because confidence, on stage is what you need, okay? And also, you wanna get great photos on stage? Practice your posing. You wanna present yourself great on stage so your photos look great. Also, you look great in the judge's eyes. That's it. So thanks for checking out the video. This is also a great reminder for all the athletes out there who compete, whether it's natural shows, not natural shows, whether you're a first time competitor or you're a pro competitor. Enjoy the process, take photos. Um, Whatever, get advice from people. You can never be too good, if that makes any sense. Practice your posing, because sometimes people, the more they compete, they start they, they, they start slacking on areas, like practicing your posing. Because if you're up on stage and you gotta hold the poses for a long period of time, you wanna make sure you practice. And you wanna present yourself the best on stage. Okay, there's no such thing as being overprepared, okay? No such thing. So that's it. Thanks for checking out the video. Good luck on your first ever natural competition. And we'll talk again soon.